Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us. Welcome back. We have our presenters here, Archimedes Mandip, Senior Solutions Sales Engineer and Manager for VivaTech, as well as Chander Matrabudam, Principal Product Ma Marketing Manager with AWS. Please give them a warm welcome. I guess thanks for joining us. Um, we're going to do a demo today of uh, uh, Kinesis Video Streams. Um, I'm going to first do a three-minute overview of the service, uh, followed by uh, Archimedes from VivoTech, and he's going to do a demo of how they yeah, built a, an application. Uh, they're a leading security um, camera provider, and um, they have actually built an application using their platform and their camera device here, so we're going to actually demo that. So, um, how Board? do I this? Oh, no. Video is critical for a lot of applications. Uh, I, I think it'll be, uh, uh, it's going to increase in time as we add a lot more devices with video enabled camera uh, devices. Um, we are already seeing a lot of applications in smart home, uh, smart city applications where you, know, you collect video from hundreds of millions of cameras all over the cities. Uh, collect them for all kinds of stuff like um, you know, crime prevention, traffic control, uh, lots of different applications there. Um, security monitoring is a huge space. Uh, so is industry automation like robotics and all kinds of um, uh, manufacturing kind of devices. Um, as well as computer vision is coming up. A lot of these uh, rely on video very heavily. Um, so. Uh, we announced a new service, Kinesis Video Streams, yesterday in Andy's keynote uh, that makes it really easy to stream all this video and, um, and then push it to AWS for analytics, machine learning, and other uh, video processing. Um, what Kinesis Video Streams does is, just like Kinesis uh, uh, Data Streams does for other data, uh, it, it makes it easy for you to stream video from uh, millions of devices. Uh, scale is obviously very important in this space. You should be able to scale to uh, 10 devices, 100 devices, millions of devices, uh, and provide that near infinite scaling for you. Um, it's very easy to build vision-enabled applications with uh, Kinesis Video Streams. It provides a uh, very easy to use uh, API and libraries that you can use to retrieve this video data. Uh, it's uh, secure, so you don't need to worry about um, you know, the security of your data, it does that. There's an SDK that we provide that takes care of all that stuff on, uh, on transit. And then when the data lands in AWS, we provide you um, uh, ways to, to, to secure your data. Um, and it also provides durable storage. Um, so it, it uses S3 underlying, but um, you know, it, it allows you to store this video for however long you want. Um, and it's fully managed, so you don't need to worry about provisioning services, uh, you don't need to worry about scaling, all that is taken care of for you. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Archimedes here to show you this wonderful demo is built um, using their camera, the platform, and Kinesis Video Streams. All right, Take it out. thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Archimedes Mandap. Uh, we're very excited to uh, demo our video stream Kinesis uh, uh, enabled camera. But before we jumped into that, uh, I kind of want to talk about uh, a little bit about VivoTech. Um, so, VivoTech is uh, a company that's founded uh, in 2000, where uh, our global headquarters is in uh, New Taipei City in uh, Taiwan. Um, a lot of you have probably never heard of us because we've uh, primarily engaged in the IP surveillance industry. Uh, we have uh, employees of 800 all over the world. And uh, VivoTech is really an engineering-centric company. So uh, there's a, a strong focus on um, R&D and innovation. So one third of our personnel are actually in the um, R&D department. Uh, we have a large global um, network of uh, s uh, system integrators, dealers, uh, distributors that are making uh, VivoTech products available across the 116 countries. 
So what VivoTech really do is we provide total IP surveillance solutions. Um, we've been developing high definition network cameras for uh, about 17 years now. Uh, to date, we have 100 plus models uh, with cameras with resolutions uh, being supported in one megapixel to 12 megapixel, uh, different form factors that, are, that can be used for indoor and outdoor use. Uh, in recent years, we also started uh, releasing uh, our power over ethernet uh, solutions, so PoE switches that can power up our cameras. Uh, in addition to that, we have network video recorders for uh, storage, and we also have our own advanced video management software that is being used to centrally manage all of the VivoTech uh, equipment uh, and cameras. On this next slide, uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, the platform that we use that has enabled us to quickly uh, integrate and um, make our cameras become Kinesis uh, enabled devices. So, um, VivoTech Application Development Platform, or VADP, it's an open application platform that enables uh, our end users, customers, partners to develop applications that can be run on the camera. And uh, this is a way to easily uh, develop a feature and add to the camera. So we have uh, third-party um, companies that have developed several applications for us in, um, in video analytics. Uh, you can easily transform our camera into a, an edge recording device, for example, or connect our camera directly to the cloud um, instantaneously. So this is the platform w that we used with the Kinesis VideoStream producer SDK. And uh, really, in a matter of uh, 10 weeks, we were able to develop an application, the AWS VADP package, that uh, we dropped in into our cameras and be able to connect to the Kinesis server. So to connect the camera to Kinesis, uh, the way we're doing it is uh, within our camera UI, you just need to type in um, the stream name and two authentication keys so th that are used uh, uh, to be authenticated by Kinesis. And uh, with that said, I'm going to show you guys our, our demo. So what we have here is uh, we're logged in to the Kinesis video stream portal. Uh, currently, there's a list of two cameras that we've, uh, we've connected. These two cameras are actually located in Taipei. So if you take a look, Right now, this is, there's just a delay of, of five seconds. The video is uh, streaming at 640 by 480. And this is the bit rate. So what we have here right now is we have a, a VivoTech camera on the podium that is currently uh, live. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to connect it to Kinesis. So to do that, um, all you need to do, our network cameras have uh, basically web servers. You just type in the IP address of the camera. This UI pops up. And now what we need to do is we need to enable the, the VADP package. And to do so, we can click on Configuration, Application, 
package management. And in here is where you actually uh, upload the package. Those packages are available on our website. So um, once you download it, uh, I mean, once you upload it to the camera, it then becomes um, a Kinesis enabled camera. And once you upload it, it'll show right here at the bottom um, basically the module. So if you click on that, it's going to ask for you to create uh, a stream name, the access key, and the secret, secret key. And once you've done that, then uh, it should show up on the, on the camera. So I've actually already preloaded this before. So I created a stream name called Las Vegas Demo. Demo. So if I, uh, once I update the configuration, um, I then go back to the portal. Let's see. And once I, there you go. Instantaneously, a stream has been created in, within Kinesis. So if we take a look at now. We are now streaming live to the Kinesis. All right. Do you guys have any questions? Y yes. Oh, all right. The latency. So um, if we look closely right now, uh, the la latency is about five seconds. So then, you know, you can take the, um, what Kinesis is doing, it's, it's storing it, it's indexing it, it's encrypting the video um, for, uh, for, you know, d developers to basically use for uh, analytics, machine learning, or any other AWS service that uh, you can use. Uh, no, it's not. This is actually not a production uh, build. It's a, it's a demo build. I suspect uh, a few weeks. So uh, this is pretty, uh, it's pretty mature now. I mean, there's still a, a couple of uh, things that needs to be uh, fixed. But in general, it's, it's working. This is specific to ours currently. So um, our SOC platform, uh, we have different SOC platforms. So we've uh, reported it to one currently right now, which is uh, our, newest, our newest models. Currently with this uh, family, SOC family, we have about uh, close to 20 cameras that's been uh, supported already. I'm sorry? Our camera have a uh, motion detection, um, but specifically for the Kinesis, um, the motion detection is something that you would have to develop. That is possible. We have not implemented that yet, but uh, eventually we will. Anything else? All right, guys, if you guys, uh, oh, you're welcome. If you guys don't have any other questions, uh, feel free to, uh, uh, I'm going to go down and you, know, you guys can, uh, we can exchange cards if you'd like. Okay, thank you.